Okay, now I will open idle one. Sure, save changes, who cares? Right click, dirt on, export anim only. Let's just call it I1. Yes. Okay. Uh, initial, let's do walk one. Just open up the initial. Yes, continue. Select that. Let's go to M. Let's call this dude and uh, just pick a straight bitmap, any bitmap. Dude wire, sure. Okay, stick it on there. And uh, now we'll export him. Dirt on export. And we don't need any frames. Export mesh and anim. So this will be dude. And this will be initial. And it'll do its thing. And that's done. Now we can go into the uh, into the Dune 3 folder. Okay, we're in the Dune 3 folder. Models. MD5 monsters dude. We got this one here, MD5 anim, which is the attack one. Okay, dude MD5 mesh. Want to go into here and uh, change the name of six of them. Shader dude. I guess they're all going to be called shader dude, so we're fine. Don't have to change any of them. And uh, everything else is set up. Uh, textures are in dude. You got the dude D already set it up uh, with the local and all that. Uh, materials, there's plenty of things to tell you that. This one here has flesh in it and it's got uh, no self shadow force overlays. And this part here is if it dies, it uh, burns away. You can adjust it accordingly because right now it's using Hell Knight references and stuff. Thanks to uh, OBIHB. O OBIB or OBHB, I'm not sure how you say your name or your the guy that came up with the shambler or I think it was called the shambler anyways jeez anyways so that's the uh, material not a big deal uh, this is where you're looking at stuff definition I have and will include this BKT monsters base it's just all it is it lets me control the gibbs turning them off, turning them on. I have them on for right now, but I have most of the monsters have them turned off actually um, that I have going. And this inherits the monster default, so you can look at monster default itself. Any other properties in it automatically get used. This is the dude definition, which is just uh, a mesh uh, that you created. Offset, because sometimes, uh, well this is where instead of having moved down the mesh at that one point because it wasn't quite touching the floor, I could have just offset it and moved it down in here. This is the numbers X, Y, Z. I don't, or this here is probably uh, Y. Uh, channel torso, bind spine zero, so this little uh, asterisk or whatever you call that thing here, little star, it uh, means this bone and everything up it in the chain, everything you know that connects to it, that that is a child of this, uh, is part of the channel torso. And legs are everything that is hips, and everything that is origin, but not nothing past bone spine zero, and not including bone spine zero. So, bone sp bone spine zero with this bit of writing is not included in channel legs, and anything up its hierarchy is not included either. Uh, AF pose, that's for the articulated figure, so just use initial. NMIK pose, initial 
uh, anim initial is initial, obviously. Idle one, we got idle one. Anim site, oh, we don't have one of those. We'll just use initial two. Walk, we got walk one. Uh, actually, have an attack, so I will make this attack one. And what that is is, I'll take that one out because we're not going to be using an attack two. But you can, if we uh, just you know just call it attack two, you can have as many different variations on attack. Just put the numbers after. I don't know if you can go up to ten and plus that, but you can go up to nine, I'm sure. Uh, different walks as well. Um, so what this is going to do is attack one uh, at frame. Well, it's not that big of a frame. What did I do? It was like frame six. Uh, it's going to attack melee dude right. Okay, so. That means there's a definition down here, a little bit further, that is this part here, and this here is the call to it. Uh, entity monster, entity def, this is the definition, this is the model, this tells you what the model is with all its animations, the mesh and all the animations ties it all together, and where those animations do what, you put sounds in here and all kinds of stuff. Uh, entity def monster dude, inherit bkt monsters default, that's whatever I control the gibbs. Script object, oh, one thing we didn't do, so we will do that in the next tutorial. So I'm going to comment this out right now and tell you. Um, inherit bkt uh, script object monster zombie, go take a look at that. Size 32, 32, 70. Don't really know what this is for. I might have something to do with, uh, with its. Um, bumping into it or whatever, but uh, every once in a while I change it and think I've actually done something, but I can never really figure it out yet anyway. Uh, rank, zero, don't know what this stuff is, team, uh, if you set uh, one monster to one and one monster to two, they'll go against each other unless they see you, in which case they'll go after you. You can probably change that somewhere. Melee range or melee range, whatever you call that word. Uh, 32, you can set that and that's how close you have to be to the monster for it to attack and for its attacks to actually strike you. Walk on sight, this is a yes, no. Mass, 50. This is so if you shoot it, how far it's going to go back in relation to the power of the weapon that you're shooting it with. Um, like with Oscar, I set him his living one to like 500 so it doesn't move at all when you shoot it. And uh, But when he dies, he turns into like a 50 rag doll so he can be tossed around. And this here, we didn't create the knees, so we don't need this. The knees, our bones, we'll throw them in later when we make the pistol monster and stuff. Uh, the knees then are for uh, uh, when you come up to staircases and stuff. It, the game picks up the legs to walk up them. Gib zero, bleed zero, so it's not going to leave the game. It's not going to get covered in blood. Uh, model monster dude, that's referencing this part up here. Uh, deaf head, we don't need that because it's... Uh, uh, we don't need the definition head because it's already got a head, but we're also going to create a swappable head monster. Uh, this, we're going to use the same body. We're just going to make it so you can swap heads on it later. And same with weapons and stuff. Head joint, neck control. Uh, that's where the head that you would join joins to. So if you make a head, you just make the bottom of the chain, call it neck control, and then you would also put a, uh, an origin in that and connect the two. Uh, ragdoll, ragdoll, dude default, we'll get to that. It's uh, an articulated figure. Uh, damage zone head, here's we just, again, with uh, everything up bone head, but not including bone head nub. Everything up bone, bone spine O2, but not in, would be the zone for the chest. You can create your own zones. With uh, Oscar, I created the shield zone. Uh, can't, information off of doom3world.org tells you all kinds of information there, some great posts. Not not uh, not much of a mystery on how to figure this stuff out. Just read a bit. Uh, damage zone legs. Uh, okay, uh, here you can set the scale so like the shield has a zero scale. Um, and here's the ragdoll dude default, and this is referencing an AF pose. So you can look at the same stuff here. Um, model monster dude. All I do for swapping this stuff around is I now just open up this and I go control H and it comes up with this find what replace what and I would go like replace dude for whatever the other monster is going to be called and it just swaps out the entire word dude throughout this whole thing but that's where like if I want to use a melee monster fireball monsters and uh, firearms and that are different um, not a whole lot though but, but different uh, sound balance don't have to do that anything SND is a sound articulated figure and this is all now referencing a different uh, a different file, so we'll get out of this. 
we'll get out of this one and we'll come on into uh, the AF folder and inside of here we have the dude AF and this is the articulated figure and we're gonna do it this way first before I go in because uh, articulated figure will shut down my system I just thought for a minute there that my uh, resolution was quite higher on my monitor um, yeah it, my uh, card will heat up I got a arctic cooling system maybe in my near future but until then my card just like I can cook eggs on it when I'm trying to do articulated figure editing so dude AF what is this not a big deal Articulated figure ragdoll do default. You saw that reference inside that uh, definition that we just looked at. Uh, all I did is I looked at the Doom 3 models uh, AF and uh, I just oh, transposed what my bone setup is to coincide with their naming uh, scheme. And uh, I just uh, settings this here is quite self explanatory. Model monster do that's referencing over inside the def file and uh, skin. If you have a skin on it, there it is. When it's dead, you want a certain skin, like it looks like it's burnt or something, whatever. Here's a mass, so this is where you set so it can bounce around or whatever. We can set that to 50 or whatever. Uh, self collision one, so this is making everything self collide. You don't always like that, that's not always good because things go spaz spastic. Uh, now we're in the bodies. What are bodies? They're like boxes, they're like um, envelopes that you build around the the completed mesh so you've made the mesh inside the 3d program you've the skeleton in you've weighted all the mesh to those to those bones well now you're weighting those bones to this uh these bodies these bodies are containing those bones now uh, one always has to contain the origin and then you just cut out the rest um body chest again you can see uh, it's an up the hips but do not include this do not include this do not include so a minus and an asterisk asterisk is a uh, do not include so these are the bodies you can see how stuff references I uh, put the lower case here so I can tell when it's a body as opposed to an actual uh, bone or some joint or whatever that's being referenced these are bodies that are being created because then once you're out of the body area you end up inside the universal, in, not, not, not just universal, but the joint area. There's uh, universal joints, but there's also uh, hinges and other kinds of stuff. That There's hinges and all kinds of different things you can make. Um, so this is the what you see as far as a text file if you open up in text, but it's not really all that clear in what you're going to be doing with this. But you can see the names of how stuff is, and if you follow the boning, bone name convention, bone naming convention from the rigging um, you can see where everything hooks up and stuff uh, but you can actually visually see it inside the actual editor so we're going to go into uh, Doom 3 and just open up uh, the AF editor I just want to take a step back back to the uh, do definition file and look at the actual melee where it, uh, it attacks here, melee dude right. What that's doing is referencing down here, uh, melee dude right, and it's, uh, it's got the damage you can set for whatever. I only have it for five uh, kick direction. Uh, material blob, and you can create this. Obviously, put your own pictures in there. Uh, blob time along the show on screen. All different stuff. Knock back. How far it'll push the character back when they hits him, and. Uh, figured out that's all that it is just wanted to point that out now we'll go back to where we were heading really fast because I have to use a higher resolution to be able to work with the articulated figure editor so drop the console type in edit AFs brings up the box here um, come on down to ragdoll default uh, spawn one in the game there it is uh, show the bodies that's pretty much all we have to do at this point bodies we're going to come on into here and uh, get rid of the console and there it is walk around we can check it out there's no uh, um, there's no uh, light in front of it uh, usually what I do is here I'll go uh, bind L edit AFs and that way I can just uh, hit L to come in and out of the AFs so I can move around inside of AFs with that selected 
uh, he would just uh, you know view the bodies uh, select the different bodies, chest by example here, and you can just uh, coordinates, move it up and down. And the size of this is the part of that hits the floor, it doesn't hit the floor, so there it's not going to hit the floor very well. So you would, uh, you would maneuver it so it sits back like that, make it a little skinnier. Doesn't really suit the face any longer, but uh, that's what you do, is you just move stuff into position like, like you see done here. Uh, select the next next body uh, hips here, and we'll uh, slide that back. My fan's going to kick in big time anytime. I'm going to grab the head and just slide that back, make it a little thinner. Oops, thinner this way, and uh, that's fine. Everything's in its place basically, and uh, you can see where the joints are. And you can mess around with the stuff to figure it out. That's the body's area, and that's what these are. But then you can <coughs> excuse me, come over to constraints. And it'll show those things. Uh, you can view constraints and constraint bodies and trees, all kinds of stuff. Uh, just get in here and play around with it, and you can uh, figure it out for yourself. And uh, now we'll just go into the uh, into the Doom 3 editor as opposed to this, and I'm gonna have to drop the resolution back down. Okay, here we are in the uh, Doom 3 editor. I'd just like to go back over to the base folder, Doom 3 base. Point out in models MD5, monsters, dude. I made an error, I was saving the stuff to the wrong place, so what you were looking at was uh, uh, like where I had six mesh meshes for the dude MD5 mesh. Actually only has one mesh, and it's like uh, called dude uh, for the shader. Um, that's, uh, I was looking at something else, and I'd been saving these to a different, different uh, folder so if you're following along your stuff might not be in the right place but chances are it is because I don't know if I even mentioned it but now I have here's the stuff we got a, uh, a map made just a empty room map uh, you can right click here come on down to monsters monster monster dude and there's a monster dude make sure he's above the floor out of your view Let's put a light, make sure the light's in front, make sure the light is behind. BSP, uh, we'll save it. And F2, drop the console map test, and there is our monster, who should just be standing there in idle. La -da 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 -da. And then when I uh, got a bit of a jerk there, look at that twink. Oh, there he comes! Look out! <coughs> and his rag dolls. And so yeah, there you go. Got yourself a Doom Three monster. Well, start of one, anyways. Hopefully, you can make yours look better than this. Uh, that is pretty damn handsome. Gotta admit. Have fun.